Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this series of videos, we are going to talk about 3D City Database. Let's go! This is the first session of 3D City Database and we are going to talk about the installation. At the first, we need to download the 3D City database in a different versions because we are going to working with a different versions, and I'm going to show you how to install a different kind of 3D City database. At the first, open your browser and a very simple. You just type 3D City database and go into the official website of 3D City database, and you can see this page. And also you can find the news, a feature, demos about the software, everything here. But now we are gonna go into downloads. Here you can find a different feature of 3D City database to download. But in this video, we are gonna work about 3D City database. But in the future, we are gonna work with importer, exporter, plugins, a web feature. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. I click on the 3D City database. And I can find here different version of database. Don't forget to download 3D City database in upper version. And you may have some problem if you download the second version. So it's better to download upper than free. Very simple. You just need to click and the download will be started here. But I have downloaded different kind of versions here. And now we are going to to install all of them. The first and important point that 3D City database work with the Oracle database and the Postgres database. But in these videos, we are gonna working with Postgres SQL. So don't forget to install Postgres SQL on your system. And also it's good idea to install PG admin because it gives you a user friendly interface and you can work with the Postgres SQL very well. So we can download the PostgreSQL from version 9 to up. Here I'm working with PostgreSQL 11. Now I'm gonna open the PG admin here. I'm going with PostgreSQL 11 and I want to create a new database. So I'm going to create a database. For example, I create test number one because I had a test before. So I create something like test number one but you can find something more meaningful than test and just I click save and as you can see here the test number one database is created but you need to have a different kind of extension the most important extension you have to download here is a post GIS uh, actually you have to install the post GIS with PostgreSQL if you haven't done before just go to stack application stack builder and you can choose your PostgreSQL version and when you click on the next it's downloading the application and this special special extension you can find a different kind of PostgreSQL here and the most of the most of the features in 3D city database work with the PostgreSQL offer than version 2 so you can install one of them here but i have installed before so i just cancel here yes and i just said i want to add a PostgreSQL extension here and also because we have a raster data data type you want to have PostgreSQL raster as well and make sure these two extension exist and just I refresh my database here and then come back to this page at the first I'm gonna work with a version 4.1 I just extract here And I open it. You can work and install a uh, version 4.1 with a Docker file, but it is very easy uh, to use a SQL script as well. If you want to install with or and working with the Oracle, just go through into the Oracle. But in these videos, we are working with a PostgreSQL. So 
opening the shell script and then I used my operator system windows and then here I have to check the connection details so I just open it in the notepad and changing this detail this is the path to SQL actually you can go into the C and the program files this is the default address of your PostgreSQL but it depends on where you install so here you can find the PostgreSQL the version that you want to work here and also the bin just copy this address and uh, come back so I just paste the address of bin for PostgreSQL 11 here and then you need to address your host I'm working on local host so it is 127 dot o dot o dot one and also the default port is 5432 but in my case the port is 33 because i had another postgres skill on my system but for you of course if you have just one postgres on your system and as a default is 5432 and also the database name we choose here test one and we want to add all the tables into a test one so i just change it this one into a test one and also pg user for a default is a postgres and don't forget to save this one by control s and then close then go to the create database bat and double click on that here you have to choose your EPSG for example I'm working with uh, data on Australia so I say 7855 but based on your data and where you want to work on the EPSG and the CRS number should be different and here you need to enter the height of your data but if you don't know you can just press 0 here and then you need to pass EPSG 7855 and then just a password of your PostgreSQL actually this password you have chosen when you install the PostgreSQL I'm just typing the password but nothing show here and press enter all the data all the tables will be created in our test one database and then I press zero and everything will be finished here so it was very easy and our tables for ctgml will be created in our test one so just refresh our test one and then open the schema as you can see city database city database package and the public are created in our schema if i open city database and here tables you can find the 66 table about the address bridge and everything you can find in a city city gml or here except the ADE such as energy AD or utility network but we will talk it later in an, another videos but yeah it works very well so let's create another database because I want to install the another version I just said test 2 simply but as I said, you can choose a very meaningful name. I just save it here. And then I need to add extension, not test, test2 here. And the extension will be PostJS here. And as I said, because of raster database, you should have a PostJS raster 
PostGIS Raster is default installed on your PostgreSQL so you don't need to worry about this extension just save it here and all our necessary extension are created just I want to refresh to make sure that everything works well and then we are going uh, into the this part and unzip version 4 extract files here and say ok it is very similar to version 4.1 so I open it and then I choose the PostgreSQL if you want to work on Oracle you can go there but I'm working with PostgreSQL and the shell script here I just use the windows and the connection details everything are uh, similar to the previous so I don't know if the path is here yeah it was in my control C the host is a local host and this is just for me as on 5433 but the default is 5432 the database name is test 2 and the username is postgres i just save it i don't know why control s didn't work for me here and i uh, just close it and then create a database okay let me bring it upper what does it say here it said a pre press epsg have the 7855 and EPSG uh, 7855 and uh, oh uh, the previous one is about the height and uh, it was wrong that I said EPSG so I can cancel it here and do it again don't worry to run this create database multi times but if you created some tables you have to reset your database or create a new one because it doesn't create on the existed ones so I said 58 uh, what am I saying 7855 and 7855 and just the password of my Postgres and the press enter and the old uh, indexes and the tables will be created in our database just press one or zero and it will be stopped and everything stop so let's open it here it was a test too at the first i refresh it and i'll go into the schemas everything will be created and in city database we can find 66 tables here okay i want to create another database because the last version it will be different so i said test 3 and save it here and then the extensions I just create an add extension postgres and postgres raster here so everything is done I just refresh it and then I go into actually here and then I want to extract city database three. I'm just extract the files here. I open it. I go into the PostgreSQL. It doesn't have something like shell, so maybe it's a different from the upper version. So go to a SQL script and just create a database in Notepad plus plus. And here is that you want you have to change and set your details. For example, the house the port is different for me, 
and the host is localhost for me uh, the username is postgres as a default and the database that we created together is test free and you can find and cheating from here and just edit pastors okay just save it and let's go here just i have to double click on the bat oh it we had some mistake here as you can see the local host is typed incorrect so i open it create database here and just add one dot and then i save it and then double click on create database here oh it's 127 not 172 we had a mistake here so we change it it's my bad sorry about that so it asks us about the password and about the SRID 7855 and also EPSG 7855 and you can see all tables and indexes are created now just press 0 or 1 and it will be a stop and everything is complete so let's open here and then refresh test free and open our schema as you can see all the database created so with this video you have learned how to install all different version of 3d city database and if you have any question about the installation please comment below and don't forget to subscribe because a lot of new videos about 3D City database are coming. Give me a thumbs up and bye bye.